today on The Cafe, we're celebrating Valentine's Day with a true life love story from the original Bachelor, Art Green, and the beautiful Bachelorette, Matilda Rice. And to celebrate Valentine's Day, we wanted to share an inspirational true love story on the cafe. So we are joined by a Kiwi love story that we all saw unfold. In fact, M Mike actually helped it unfold, I think. <laughs> Bachelor Art Green and his bachelorette, Matilda Rice. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Happy Valentine's to you, too. It well, is so cool, isn't it, having yeah. these guys here? Because you are a success story. <laughs> Well, I, I guess, guess so. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it is. It's the best Valentine's present I could get to catch up with you two again, because it's been a couple of years now. It's yeah. um, the best you could get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll have a talk later, honey. Time to come home. <laughs> uh, you know, big question straight away. How did you go the distance? Because a lot of reality couples break up pretty fast, but you two managed to find true love. Um, I think we... Um, after the show finished, I think we um, took it from day one then. So just we just ignored the show and, and then got to know each other as if we had just met. I think that's probably... Yeah. I, th I think we've done really well to try and kind of block out social media and the media and not let anything get to us and kind of go into our own little world yeah. and just have a really normal relationship. Yeah, which is difficult when you started the way you did start. Yeah. It wasn't easy starting out a relationship like that with... On you national know, TV. The pressure of yeah. New Zealand. And Mike hiding in the bushes all the time watching <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, can you stop that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Does it. Two <laughs> years down the track, you think I would have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hanging on there. I'm just making sure it's all working, you know, yeah. clearly it is. Yeah. Okay, we'll go right back to the beginning, Art. Mm. Uh, what made you into this? Because you said, you know, you were hoping to find a girl you could love. Uh, was that your main motivation? Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Um, I sort of. I struggled a little bit just because I had been so busy with work um, that I hadn't really had a chance to meet anyone and um, I wasn't really in the right circles to meet people, so, um, yeah. There you go. So what made you want to apply, Matilda? Um, I was kind of the, the opposite. I had a lot of time and I'd been on a lot of dates, but, um, <laughs> but I just didn't really find anyone that I really clicked with or um, anybody that, that I really wanted to go past a first date with. So this um, opportunity came up and I just thought, well, may as well, you know, if, if something good comes out of it, then amazing. If not, like at least you get a really awesome- Got a great story to experience. tell somebody. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Get interesting looking ring. <laughs> 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 and when did you realize she was the one? I don't know, I'll probably ask you this um, numerous times over the last couple of years, but you know, uh, for those that didn't follow the love story, was there mm. a moment in the show where you fell in love or did that uh, not happen until after? No, that didn't happen until after, um, until we actually got to know each other mm. properly, because on the show you really don't get to know who anyone is. Um, yeah. But I think the very first night of filming was when I first you know, what? fell in love. You can say it. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought she was pretty cool. You know, the very first, right. the very first um, day, and just speaking with her, and um, yeah, she just knew she was pretty amazing. Yeah. Do you get sick of talking about how much you love each other? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> we don't to to each other, but um, we we often get like random people in the street being like, "When are you going to get married? Mm. When are you going to have babies?" And it's sort of like. Oh, None of your business. You know? <laughs> is that on your question? Yes, well, yeah. Well, that would happen now, yeah. I thought today would have been a good day to get engaged. Um, <laughs> way too cheesy. You can't get engaged on Valentine's no. Day. Ooh. No. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it back to you later. <laughs> yeah. no, well, I love what you said right at the start, Matilda, about you know how you had to work on it from once the show started. Mm -hmm. And I guess any relationship requires a bit of work. Yeah. What are the little things you think? That have made your relationship work? Um, I think having a sense of humour and not taking yourself too seriously. We're both pretty much like that all the time. Um, so that's kind of got us through any sort of um, hard time or, or pressure from media or New Zealand. We just don't take it too seriously. We're just like, oh, we're washed up reality stars, you know. It's like embrace it's not that the, fact. The end of yeah. the world, Rolls you know. Up. Yeah, it's not life or death, you know. And how, how do you juggle, because uh, you're a businessman as well, you're very busy, how do you juggle your two separate lives and yet still have this incredible connection? Um, I think 
Well, Maddie and I are both incredibly busy, so now we're just really busy together. Right. Um, and we just really value the time that we have with each other and make the most of it. Do you have a Do you have a date night or a set night that you think, okay, tonight's the night we're going to spend a bit of time together? Well, have been married six years and have three kids yet, honey? <laughs> <laughs> it's if we're we're both home at the same time and we think, oh, we don't have anything on tonight. Should we, you know? Go, go out for dinner, or even though you hate that, but you know. We, well, I mean, yeah. we're, we're together most nights, so right. I mean, we spend so much time together. Every night is kind mm. of a date night. Yeah, and surely time. the best date nights are when you're in your chacky dacks on the, yeah. on the couch watching telly, yeah. reality yeah. TV. Um, so what have you got planned for Valentine's night? Because I'm sure that the, when you do go out on dates, the bar's been set pretty high with like <laughs> private boats and yachts and like yeah. helicopters and stuff. I mean, what do you do? Yeah. Well, in the real world, um, I can't <laughs> afford any of that stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Um, no, it's uh, it's going to be it's actually a secret, so I can't say. But she, um, Maddie, just needs to be available for the afternoon. Excellent. We've got some chocolate tart if you want to take some. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll free up yes, costs a bit. absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'll claim that I made it. <laughs> yeah, you might be I'm taking... here too. So <laughs> can see. Yeah. Hey, Matilda, we might be taking you to a picnic under the Auckland Harbour Bridge. <gasps> you know. I hope so. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the most <laughs> memorable ones of the show. Wasn't that was it? one of the most awkward picnics. It's then you said, um, oh, do you want some tea? And then I drank it and I was like, it's coffee. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm, I knew. <laughs> Production stuff. <laughs> no, OK, so the new season of The Bachelor is about to hit our screen in a couple of months on TV3. What, what advice would you give to the new Bachelor art to help um, him get through the journey? Because as we know, it doesn't all work mm. sometimes. Um, I'd, say, <laughs> I'd say just be yourself, um, but maybe a little bit of a toned down sort of PC version of yourself at the right. start. <laughs> um, and then just don't be a dickhead. And yeah. um, just let everything completely out there. Um, and just go for it. Just don't hold back and you never know what might happen because it's worked out so well for us. I, yeah. Yeah, it is so nice. What about you, Matilda? Any advice for the bachelorettes? Um, I think just ignore any BS and yeah, just go go into it with an open mind and an open heart and and just remember it's not forever. Hey, at the very least times. you get to dry you get to wear some really amazing clothes and do some cool things. Exactly, mm, yeah. exactly. No, and if you if you if you've been missing it, they're actually doing reruns on T V three at the moment on a Saturday <laughs> at one thirty. Uh, I bet you you two don't sit down and watch that, do you? <laughs> we hate we hate yeah, watching it. No. <laughs> oh, I sit down and watch so it. <laughs> Relive <laughs> the moment. It makes us all around and tell you. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Rewind play. Rewind play. I'm Evening. Ladies. your bits. <laughs> <laughs> Just get to mine. Um, anyway, happy Valentine's Day. No, you two happy are Valentine's incredible. Day, yeah. And you're a great inspiration to the country too because you're just normal people who are doing it well, um, both very successful and very beautiful. And uh, it's such an honour to have you here on this very special day. So yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Thanks nice. for you. Okay, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day night. Yeah. If you get engaged, let us know, okay? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. we'll do it on here actually. <laughs> be better. <laughs>